Hello, it's Mark. Welcome to Scotch Sunday. Thanks for stopping by and giving it a view. Today we're going to do another whiskey review. We're going to do the Balvenie 16 year old French oak. So, um, Balvenie is a Speyside single malt scotch. They're located in Ducktown, Scotland, where there are several other distilleries in there. Uh, there. Uh, Glenfiddich, Mortlock, Convini, I think maybe Glendulin's there. Um, and I think the Ducktown Distillery is also there, but I think that only produces blends. Um, Balvenny is owned by uh, William Grant and Sons, who also own Glenfiddich and Convini. So I think, and I think, and Alyssa Bay, um, which of course Alyssa Bay is a, a um, lowland scotch, but the other three are space side. So monk, basically, that's what goes in the monkey's shoulder. And uh, about the Balvenny was founded in 1892. And William Grant had just left his job at Mortlock and he purchased a land at the Balmeny Castle. And they may have been the first to create the process in the 1960s that would later be known as wood finishing. Now, there are a lot of different things about finishings, but um, I don't really know about the process of wood finishing. But anyway, so anyway, because I know Glenn Dronick. Uh, also says they were early on so there's who knows but um anyway they is they're one of only seven distilleries that has their own malting floor they're the only distillery that still practices all five of the rare crafts on site growing barley malting barley coppersmith cooperage and the master of malt is everybody is on site there um so i am going to go ahead and roll this Tell you a little bit about this one. It's, so this is 16 year old, 47.6% ABV. It is finished in, um, yes, it's finished in Pinot, Pinot de Chartes, which is a fortified wine made from un unferted, unfermented grape juice. So yeah, it's a fortified wine where you have something that's halfway there and you add some other stuff to it. So um, this was ran me 200 bucks. Um, I don't know how if this is done. I don't know. I looked on the website. It didn't, it looks, it may be part of their core line. I'm not positive. So, um, yeah, that's enough of that. So let me go ahead and show it to you in the bottle. Close up of the bottle and in the glass, I am not sure about color. I would, I'm really not sure. Let's see if it says on here. So, single malt scotch whiskey, distilled at the Balvenny Distillery, Band of Shire, Scotland. French oak, finished in Pinot casks, aged 16 years. Um, it's in Ducktown, Band of Shire, Scotland. First cast, 16 years of, of maturation in American oak casks, bring the abundant of vanilla spice and warm honey notes. And second cast, finished in Pinot casks, brings in energizing grapefruit, geranium, glazed fruit, and ginger. So, okay, uh, the back really says nothing, product of Scotland, nothing really there. Uh, all right, the same thing on the first and second fin finishing, that's exactly the same. Yep, that's exactly the same. Do, 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 do. The back says, Pinot de Char Charentes, Chartonnez is a fortified wine made from fresh unfermented grape juice to which cognac is added and then matured in French oak casks. Produced from the sun-kissed grapes of rolling green vineyards, this fruity, rich, rich fruity wine is stepped in and steeped in tradition and seldom found outside the region. Eager to see what rare flavors this fortified French wine can bring to the Balvenie, master, malt master Dave Stewart brought the casks that had once held Pinot de Chart Char 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 Chartonnez. I looked it up online and I still can't pronounce it right. To the Balvenie distillery, using the casks in the finishing process, he was able to craft this unique and rare expression. Matured it for 16 years in traditional American oak whiskey barrels to develop distinct notes of warm honey vanilla before finishing in a period of Pinot. French oak casks brings velvety sweetness with notes of energizing grapefruit, geranium, glazed fruit, and ginger. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will roll this one more time.
I did not give myself a very good pour. All right, let's go into the nose. I'm getting lots of oak apples, lots of apples up front. Getting apples, maybe pears. Getting some sweet spice. Getting like a little bit of a more, a little bit of a floral note, a little bit of a floral note. I'd say maybe a little, maybe a little carnation. Spice wise, it's a sweet spot. Like I guess honey. I can't think it because it's definitely not cinnamon or ginger, but apples, apples and oak come through. That floral note. Mmm, getting a little, something in the back, way in the back there. Tobacco or leather, maybe. Didn't expect that at all. Mm-mm. Almost a cola in there, so like, like a flat cola. But that definitely that's in the behind the apples and oak, apples and oak up front. All right, slacha. Apples, orchard fruit, pears, lemon, lemon citrus. I'm getting a little bit of nuttiness and some of that cola, like almost like chocolate. You know, cola has a kind of a chocolate aspect to it. So kind of like cola. That's what I get. Finish is oaky, medium finish. Um, hmm. I'm not that 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 tobacco leather. I'm not getting that at all. Maybe a little. Maybe a little walnut. But that's it. All right, let's see what else we get on the nose. Kind of the same apples, but some of that citrus is coming through now. I don't get any of that vanilla. Not getting that at all. More honey. Honey on the nose. Not as much oak this time. So more apples, pears, and citrus with some honey. Yeah, a little bit of oak in the back, but yeah, that, and maybe some a few walnuts, but that's where I'm at with that right now. So, okay, second tasting. More nutty now, but still, apples, citrus, ginger now. I'm definitely getting the ginger. There's definitely some oak, dried oak. It's really good. Um, now, 
take this with a grain of salt. Is this a $200 bottle? Mm, more like a 150 although I've noticed that Balveni is going crazy with their prices. I think, what did I see? The 21 for like, I don't know, 270 or something? Uh, it's ridiculous. That's like a $180, $170 bottle, but so not surprised this is priced so high. Um, I, I, I would often say that Balvenie's the 12 Double Wood is a great intro scotch. Um, haven't priced that one in a while, so I don't know how much that is. But So, very good. Not $200 good. I would definitely keep it on my shelf, but, you know, where's your price point? That's kind of, you know, this price point isn't necessarily, everybody's got a different price point. So, good enough for my shelf. Not good enough on my wallet. So I'm going to go with a seven. All right. Subscribe and we'll see you next time.